All right, there are so many people that are special on the LSU campus, and I'm certainly sitting with one of them right now, a huge part of the LSU women's basketball program for many years, Emily Ward. Emily, thanks so much. For, of course. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming down. Mm -hmm. This young lady, she smiles. She <laughs> lights up a room. She lights up an arena. I mean, the fans, her teammates, they all love her. Um, this is a loaded and very lazy question to start, <laughs> but what has LSU meant to you? Oh, LSU has just meant so much to me. You know, growing up in North Louisiana, it's always, it's always been my dream to come to LSU and just to be able to play basketball here is just something I never would have thought could happen. You're so. from Bossier, mm -hmm. not Shreveport, folks. Not there's, Shreveport. There's a difference. Two I've totally learned different that. Things. <laughs> <laughs> Did a story earlier this year on Michaela Williams, the number one mm -hmm. player in the country, and I casually referenced her as being from Shreveport, and boy, I got jumped on really quick. <laughs> Yeah, we're from Bossier. <laughs> yeah. Is there a rivalry there? Is, is it kind of uh, two different places? I mean, I kind of reference the place as Shreveport mm -hmm. Bossier, the area, but. Um, yeah, so like I'm from North Bossier, so it's just more towards Benton. Like I went to school in Benton. And then Michaela's in South Bossier, so she's um, like a little bit more towards Shreveport, kind of. Yeah. So, but there, there was like, there is a school <laughs> rival right now um, because they're both in 5A, but when I played, Benton was 4A, so we like, would rarely play them. I see. So. And that's where the uh, the nice concert and basketball arena is, right? right? Mm -hmm. You used to call it the Century Tail. Now it's mm -hmm. the name grocery. That, yeah, the, uh, what's the name Brookshire's, of that? Grocery? Brookshire's Grocery Bro Arena. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so let's go back in time and move forward. So in your high school career, I mean, you were no slouch, right? <laughs> so you averaged 18 points a game, uh, 12 and a half rebounds, playing for Benton High School. You played in 136 games. You scored over 2,400 points, over 1,700 rebounds, 328 steals. So you really could have gone to a lot of different places, couldn't mm -hmm. you, as far as moving on to college? Yes, sir. Yeah, I had a lot of different um, scholarship offers coming out of high school. And, uh, I mean, there were a lot of ones like in Louisiana or in Arkansas or Alabama or whatever. And I had a really tough decision to make because I knew LSU as a walk-on was an option, and then I knew these other places for a scholarship were an option. And I kind of had to uh, just do like the pros and cons of each. And at the end, I realized that coming to LSU and being a walk-on, like, okay, so I'm a walk-on, and Izzy Bezelman is a walk-on too, but we get literally the exact same stuff as scholarship players except for our school getting paid for. Like we get all the gear, we get all the tutoring sessions, the classes, the textbooks, everything. Yeah. Um, so I just knew that there are a lot more pros to coming to LSU just as a walk-on. So that's what I decided. Well, your first year was 2019, 2020, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. So your first uh, semester on campus, you get Joe Burrow, uh, <laughs> Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and the dream season, right? Yes, sir, yeah. I think <laughs> we were all a little, I don't know how to say it, like, we this is like what I expected all of the season like all of the rest of the years to be like I, like we didn't know how good we had it until you got it was spoiled gone. immediately right exactly yeah because <laughs> I was like oh this is like freshman year like this is so much fun um which obviously the LSU football team is so great always but that was just a very big highlight of my LSU time <laughs> I, I've talked to some students who are in broadcasting here and I and I told them I feel either really good for you but at the same time I feel bad for you if that's the first thing you ever covered you yeah. know because <laughs> this is this is reality but it's kind of not you mm -hmm. know this is a once in a lifetime deal but like mm -hmm. you said I mean they're they're always at a high standard here it's just that thing was kind of a, a once in a lifetime oh, yeah. mm -hmm. thing to be you were in the student section with I your was. teammates and yes, sir. every game yes sir and you're like this so. this college thing is pretty <laughs> cool right mm -hmm. so you walk on mm -hmm. and uh, a walk on, so you're doing scout team at practice and stuff like that, like almost like a, a, an actress, right? The role of such and such from Georgia, mm -hmm. you're going to be the guard or whatever, right? Right, yeah, like so freshman year, I played a little bit on our scout team, like our dream team. Um, and then, like, when all of the boys would go away for like spring break or Christmas break or whatever, that's when I would mainly play like on the defense or offensive side. Yeah. So. And we should credit your old coach, Nikki Fargus. I mean, mm -hmm. she's the one that brought you aboard, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And she is living her best life right now. <laughs> she's doing very she's well. She's doing great. Yes, sir. In the WNBA. So I'm very thankful for her and her coaching staff for allowing me to come here. And I was talking to Grant a while ago. I remember the 2019-2020 team. You guys were going to be heading to mm -hmm. the NCAA tournament. You had won 21 games. And then this thing called 
uh, COVID comes along and, and uh, turns the mm -hmm. world upside down and you get wiped out as far as playing in a tournament that right. year. Yeah, luckily we were able to play in the SEC tournament that year because um, we got back and like that next few days was when everything kind of just shut down. Like I remember, oh, they're extending our spring break. Oh, the boys SEC tournaments canceled. Like then it's yeah. just like everything went downhill. So we're very thankful that we at least got to play in the SEC tournament. Well, not to bore you with my details, but I remember very well driving to the SEC tournament in Nashville and the next day, by noon, they had said no fans, and then mm -hmm. they said no tournament, then they said no NCAA tournament, and then they had even canceled the College World Series in both baseball yeah. and softball mm -hmm. by the end of the day. And it was just, your mouth would just hit the floor like, oh my God, what is going yeah, on Yeah, it's here? like everything just slowly started not happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of time. Mm -hmm. A lot of time to do other things, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, thankfully, uh, we're pretty much back to normal. Mm -hmm. Tell me about uh, when Coach Mulkey came aboard here. Um, so Coach Farkas told us she was leaving, um, and then the LSU administration like brought us all together, like the remaining girls. It was probably like nine of us or so, and they're like, "Look, we're gonna do our best to try to find a coach. Like we don't really know anything yet. We have some leads. Like they didn't tell us anything like at all. Yeah. And then just don't leave, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, like, we're gonna get a coach. Us. And we're like, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so then um, like a week or so goes by, I don't even remember how long it was. And we just started hearing these rumors about Coach Monkey coming. And we're like, dude, there's no way, like no way she's leaving Baylor. And then I remember I was on the phone with my mom and she was like, Emily, like if she does leave, this is the time she's gonna leave. Like she's gonna come back. She's obviously from Louisiana. So she wants to come back, um, just be by her mom, her, her hometown, home state. And I was like, Mom, but it's like Baylor. Like, she's not going to leave Baylor. And she's like, just wait. Like, I have a feeling. I was like, okay, whatever. And then, so then the administration brings us in. I'm like, okay, we've hired Kim Mulkey. And we were, like, I remember all of our faces were like, like, there's no way. Like, that's not happening. Like, because then Kayla Pointer was also talking to some of the Baylor girls. And they're like, no, like, she hasn't told us anything. Like, yeah. we don't know what's happening. So then... They tell us a meeting, they're like, look, she's gonna come for a press conference, like either that day or the next day, I don't even remember. Um, and then that was pretty much it. Like, I mean, we walked out of the meeting and it was all over social media. Yeah. It's like it, they timed it perfectly to where we didn't know, like we knew ahead of time, but we weren't like the ones to tell everyone. I, I was so. like you, I've said it many times. I did not expect her to leave. I kept waiting to, Baylor to announce mm -hmm. she got a big raise and extension and she was staying put and I've said it many times I had a friend of mine who texted me there is 0 0.005 chance yeah <laughs> this is happening don't get your hopes up you know uh, the older you get the more jaded you get you know fairy tales don't happen but so do you remember the first team meeting when she brought you all in I do she went down the line like in our so our locker room is laid out like we all of our lockers are just in a row and she went down, shook everyone's hand, like looked them straight in the eye and was like, I'm Kim, nice to meet you. And then she gets to me and she's like, I know your mom, I recruited her, I'm Kim, nice to meet you. And I was like, okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> like, but it was cool because she knew who I was. Like obviously she knew all the, like, all the girls just because she just like obviously wanted to know who she was gonna be coaching yeah. in the next year. Um, but she like had a personal connection with me, so it was cool. And real quick, your mother was your coach in high school, mm -hmm. at Benton High School. Yes, sir. And she played at both Tulane and Baylor mm -hmm. before Kim Mulkey was the coach at Baylor. Right. But mm -hmm. I guess your, your mother had recruited her when she was at Louisiana Tech, maybe? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Coach Mulkey recruited my mom to go to Louisiana Tech, and then my mom decided to go to Baylor. So. Gotcha. Your mother played at Airline High School, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Up there. Uh, and then your dad has a history in coaching as well, but mm -hmm. he didn't coach you right. in high school. Yes, sir. He, so my mom was my high school coach, like my head coach, and then my dad was the assistant for the boys team. Um, so he like coached my brother. And then when me and my brother graduated high school, he left the boys and then went to the girls. So he works for my mom now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Your mom's the boss in many, yeah. many different ways, yes, right? <laughs> so that first team uh, that Coach Mulkey coaches here, um, you know, and, and I think a lot of people said, oh, she's going to run off all these girls and bring in a bunch of new players, but she couldn't do that. She didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the first year of Faustina Fua, Jalen Cherry, Kayla Pointer, mm -hmm. 
um, Autumn Newby comes in, Alexis Morris comes in, and uh, and what you were able to accomplish that first year. Yeah, I mean, we did so much. We I think it was definitely like a culture shock. Um, I mean, she just came in and we had four hour practices every day. And we were like, hold on, what is this? Like, we just weren't expecting that. Um, or we just weren't used to that. But I mean, I, Kayla and Foss and Cherry and Autumn, like those are my girls. Like I grew up with them, well, besides Autumn. But yep. those three, I had been playing with since freshman year. And it was like them and me were kind of the only ones left. Um, and so, I mean, they did a fabulous job. They were able to just come in here and be coached by one of the best coaches of all time. Yeah. So, I mean, they could have looked at it and be like, no, I'm not doing this. Like, I, this is not what I signed up for. Or they could have done what they did and had a great year. Well, so. no matter the sport, we always hear the practices are hard, the games are easy. <laughs> or that's what that's the, the goal of it, mm -hmm. to make the practices hard. And like you said, four-hour practices oh, or yeah. whatever. And then we get in the game and this is fun mm -hmm. and the game ends and I'm not gassed. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm still I'm in good condition. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, immediately uh, we saw the success and then, so this is what I find impressive about you too, because there was nine new players on this year's team mm -hmm. and they all love you, right? <laughs> so like you, a whole nother group of people, you were able to win, win them over and mm -hmm. really, you know, mesh once again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I love these girls. I mean, I just met most of them and I consider them my family. I will always text them. Um, I mean, I'll still be around next year, but I'll just always have them in my corner, so they're awesome. And all your hard work, it seemed like a lot of great things happen, like within a month. So, <laughs> yeah. November the seventh of last year, uh, LSU put it out on social media. So you guys are in the locker room, and and Coach Mulkey comes over and hands you something, and you, you put it in your <laughs> locker. Like I'll get to this later. Yeah, I didn't want to be rude and like. <laughs> Because I knew she was about to talk, so I was like, oh, I'll just open it later. Like, okay. <laughs> they said, no, open it now. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and then you read it, and what did it say? It was like, so it was actually worded very weirdly. So if you see me, like, stumbling in the initial video, it's because I was trying to summarize it all. Like, it was, like, very formal letter. So it was, like, due to your, like, I don't even know, something <laughs> words, academic. Words, words, Yeah, words. and I was like, you've got a scholarship. And I was like, okay, that's it. <laughs> But it was it was awesome, and then all the girls just ran and gave me a hug. And I mean, the video shows us jumping and hugging for like ten seconds, but it was at least a minute of celebration. Yeah. So it was it was definitely something I'll never forget. And those things, you know, obviously they're not phony; they're they're real. Mm -hmm. You know that they were all so happy for you. Oh yes, yes sir. Yeah, they were ecstatic. So. Yeah, they've seen mm -hmm. you work and mm -hmm. play your role, and then December sixteenth. Uh, young Emily Ward graduates from LSU Manship School mm -hmm. with a bachelor's degree in mass communication with a concentration in digital advertising. And so there was a ceremony for you in Hawaii. <laughs> you were playing in a tournament mm -hmm. there. Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember we get our schedule in like October, September, whatever. And I look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm missing graduation. Like, I won't be able to walk across the stage. And I was just crushed. I was like, oh, this is so sad. Like, I mean, it's something that you work for yeah. coming into college. Like, it's like a big moment. And I just remember going to Jordan Westbrook, which is, she's one of our director of ops. And I was like, look, like, I'm missing my graduation. Like, can we do something like for the game or just something? And she's like, oh my God, yeah, of course. Like, this is a big milestone. So I was like, okay, sweet. So. She was like, we're just going to announce you. They're going to give you your um, stole. Not stole. Is it stole? Yeah. Is that, is that what it's called? Badge. I just always thought. What is the cord? <laughs> no, it is a stole. So they're going to give you your stole. And um, just like say all your accomplishments and everything. So I was like, OK, cool. That's works. Like, whatever. So I go do that. That was awesome. Everyone was standing. Um, just a cool experience. And then everything in Hawaii was a surprise to me. Because like, I was in Hawaii for my graduation day. And so that's when our academic advisor like handed me the diploma because I didn't know I was getting the diploma. Yeah. So it was cool. And they played the music too, like right. the, <laughs> the, the, the formal ceremony. Yeah. Music. Your middle name is Elizabeth. Yes, sir. So you wanted, you were thinking, okay, I'm going to be in the the PMAC, and they're going to say Emily Elizabeth Ward, and yeah. then the people would cheer in the stands and everything. Mm -hmm. So this was the best creation, recreation, or or, or best job they oh, could yeah. do with that, and it was. Uh, 
Yeah, no, I'm very thankful. I mean, not many people can say that they graduated in Hawaii. <laughs> and like, even though I, I missed walking across the stage, I was very, I was given just the same amount of just celebration and stuff on the basketball court. So. And then they brought you, it was the Lamar game, right? That they brought you at half court during the game? I think so. It was like whatever game was right before we left for the tournament. Okay, so they did it before. Because it was like a Wednesday and then we left that Thursday. Got you. And in high school, this young lady, so uh, B doesn't stand, uh, Bozier, the B doesn't <laughs> stand for Bs because they don't make them up there apparently. <laughs> Michaela Williams ne hasn't made a B mm -hmm. in high school. She's 4.0 across the board. You had a 4.1 in mm -hmm. high school. And right now, she's really slacked off, folks. She's got a 3.7 <laughs> or so here at LSU. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> so you have just really um, maximized your opportunities, mm -hmm. right? On the floor, off the floor, uh, being the epitome of what a student athlete should be, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, I am just very thankful for everything that being a student athlete has provided me. I mean, we get tutor sessions if we're struggling in a class or we get certain amount of time that we have to be in the cox like for study hall um which i'm not always that's not my favorite thing to do but i actually <laughs> do my work when i'm in there so it allows me to do it when i'm there and not just when i'm at home so uh when you got your diploma coach mulkey said that diploma is worth more than any nil mm -hmm. deal you'll ever get those are powerful words yeah you were, you were involved in so much here. So as well, you've been on the, um, you represented LSU women's basketball and the SEC basketball leadership. I'm saying basketball a lot. Basketball <laughs> leadership council. Uh, last year, the council was virtual. Uh, you traveled to Birmingham in mm -hmm. September for a day of meeting with the SEC offices. Mm -hmm. Did you like give input on things that you want to see changed or? or yeah, I, yeah. Well, so, well, well, so I went to this thing in, the summer and it was like all of the it's called SAC like student athlete advisory committee yeah. so they had at least like four people from each school go like no matter what sport um so I made a lot of friends there like I have a friend in tennis at Alabama so it's just cool to like see all these different athletes um in different sports at different schools so there we kind of were just like if Kentucky does this cool thing with their student athletes and oh we can take this back to LSU so it was kind of gotcha. cool to see that. And then I went to the one in September and it was just men's and women's basketball. So I went with Justice Hill from the men's team. So it was us two there. Um, and yeah, we like talked about some rules. Um, like we, they, they brought in a referee to quest, like, so if we had questions, we can ask her. So that was cool. Um, we talked about like the gift suite that we get. We just talked about like all these different like SEC things, they were very, like they wanted us they wanted to your feedback. Right. Yeah, exactly. So they wanted us to see what we wanted to change. So it That's was cool. cool. Yeah. And then I got yeah. to meet a lot of new friends. So yeah, well, you're good at making friends, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and then other things you've been part of, you were uh, Alpha Delta Pi sorority. Mm -hmm. Now Emily's going to turn 23 like in August or something like that. So I'm sure you're feeling yeah. so <laughs> old at this point, right? Yes, sir. Oh, sorority. I so, you know, yesterday. <laughs> You know, but yeah. the, the difference between being like 48 and 43 is like, oh, whatever. But then 17 yeah. and 22, 20, there is a, there's a, you feel oh, yeah. like there's a big difference, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like technically an alum from 80 Pi. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you did that. And mm -hmm. uh, LSU's Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you've worked hard to accomplish all these things, but I'm sure you feel like your faith and those things tie into that as well. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. I love the Lord. Um, I'm so thankful for my parents and how they raised me and my brother. Um, just a lot of people are like, oh, like you're not eh, playing as much or like, how can you just be so optimistic about everything? And I'm like, yeah, like I have so much to be thankful for. I mean, even if I'm not the star player on this team, like I still get to know these girls. I still get to go to LSU and live out my dream. So it's just, I have a lot to be thankful for. So. That's very awesome. happy about it, yeah. Uh, I know people that are watching this are probably enjoying this right now for <laughs> sure and enjoying your, your, your positive mm -hmm. attitude and, and everything. Um, yeah, to, to earn a degree, um, to be part of uh, a team and to run out of that tunnel in front of <laughs> packed houses at the PMAX, oh, it's yeah. got to be thrilling. And you have played in 22 games this year. Yes, sir, yeah. So no, you got you've gotten your share of action, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, sometimes in the timeouts, 
which I'm not really supposed to do this, but I kind of just like look around the stadium. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Like, I mean, I look for open seats and there's rarely any. If I mean, if there is, it's like one seat here, one seat over here. Like there's yep. never like a group of seats together that are open. So it's just cool to like be able to look and be like, wow, I'm actually here. I mean, so many girls dream of being in our positions and here we are, we get to do it. So we need to do it the best we can. Yeah. And you had COVID and stuff, obviously, mm -hmm. but to see the way the crowds used to be and see the way they are now, the, the drastic change that has oh, happened. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> sometimes we, like when we go into the locker room at like the 40 minute mark or whatever, and then we come back at 24 or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. And I mean, just the amount of people that are that get there in those 20 minutes we're like wow there's about to be a lot of people here like <laughs> and when they first open the doors at the hour mark i mean people just keep flooding in like there's like non-stop traffic until we go back in the locker room so, uh i i don't think anything fills up quicker on the campus so i've said this before christ the king the church mm -hmm. over there five minutes before mass it's empty and then five minutes after they're like on the back wall it's <laughs> like they fall out of the sky when they go to when they go to mass there mm -hmm. but um the uh, and this team this year, the people you've had a chance to play with, um, the Angel Reeses, mm -hmm. the Alexis Morris, um, uh, Jasmine Carson, all these people, Flage. Uh, what what do you like about this team? So I like how big of personalities we have and how well we are able to mesh. I mean, when you have a lot of girls, women with such big personalities, it's it can go one of two ways. It can be either really bad, like them clashing heads, or they can all get along. And luckily we all get along. Um, <laughs> but I mean, they, all of them just want to win. They do whatever it takes to win. I mean, Flage is awesome. She wakes up at 5 a.m. every day, does like her rap thing in the morning, and then goes to class, and then practice, and then does stuff after practice. Like that girl's just always moving. And then Angel, you know, with all of her social media stuff, like, I mean, she just amazes me, like how much she, puts out of or how much time she puts into all of that stuff and just it's awesome to see her success go up yeah so I mean it's all very well deserved so during the viewing party the other day you and Alexis were sitting <laughs> together and just like y'all were laughing and having a great time mm -hmm. the the whole time oh yeah and so Lex and I roommate or we room together on away games so that has definitely allowed us to grow closer um but we were just laughing we were like okay who do we think is going to get a one seed or like, who do we think we're gonna play? Or it was like, <laughs> cause Coach, Coach Monkey had on like a cheetah and we're like, or cheetah print outfit. And we're like, does she know that's cheetah and not tiger print? Like, I don't know, just like random stuff that we just say, it's just funny, so. There's a difference between a tiger and a cheetah. Exactly, yeah. Right. <laughs> Years ago, Florida put a crocodile on their media guide for football instead of an alligator. Oh, There's a difference yeah. between a croc and an alligator. Mm -hmm. Something about this the snout and yeah, uh, something. <laughs> whatever. Um, and then back to Coach Mulkey a little bit. What is, uh, I mean, I, and I've talked to coaches and players that have been around here the last couple of years. It's the attention to detail. Mm -hmm. It's the nothing gets past her. It's the, the hawk in the sky whose eyes see everything. Oh, I mean, yeah. what, what is it? Um, I mean, I think all of those things. She's just a very intense woman, a businesswoman. She's very powerful. Um, and I just, she knows right from wrong. She has great morals. Um, she, I mean, what you just said, nothing gets past her. Like she's not even on social media and she just finds stuff out. And we're like, how do you even know that? Like, she's like, <laughs> stuff just falls in my lap and it happens. Like you gotta learn. Kramer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, she's just a very driven woman, so. I think it's her intensity too. And I think I think it was Alexis that said it last year. Just a simple statement, but it just sums it up. She's just real. Yeah. Oh no, she'll What you see yeah. is what you get. Mm -hmm. She'll tell you what you're doing wrong and she's not scared to. Yeah. So, she, yeah. She is yeah, just what Alexis said. She's real. So, a few more things here with the great Emily Ward. So, what is it like when they when you get up off the bench? You have to be. I mean, there's people up on this wall over here. You know, the Tamikas, the Simones, mm -hmm. and I, I feel like that they cheer as loud for you as they have <laughs> for those players when you get up and they send you in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awesome! I remember for my senior night, the student section started like chanting my name like Emily, 
And then they're like, we want Emily, blah, 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 blah. And so the first time I looked at Izzy and I was like, Izzy, what are they saying? Like, I don't even know what they're saying. They're like, Emily, they're literally going like Emily. And I was like, what? Like, they're, no, they're not. And then I listened to it and I was like, oh my gosh. And I just know my face got, got blush, like so much, so red. And I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second, like, this is so cool. Um, and then I just, I remember getting up, taking my jacket off. Poa like pushes me to go up um, to the scores table. scores table, yes sir. And I just remember the fans just started cheering and I was like, this is so cool. Like. I was like, okay, focus in the game, but like, take it in. Like, this is cool. Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely awesome. It's just shown that you don't have to be a star player to be a great person. So. And you don't have to be a star player to really impact the fans mm -hmm. and know who you are. Right. right? Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Shows that they're intelligent too. They keep up. Right. Mm -hmm. with their players and what they're doing. So are you going to pass the torch to Izzy? Is Izzy going to be oh, yes. the Emily Ward Izzy part two? Oh, yes. getting it. <laughs> I know. She's like, Emily, I don't know what I'm going to do without you next year. I'm like, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I taught you my way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I, try to, I try not to make, I, I to try to keep the time sensitive stuff till last. But so we're going into the NCAA tournament now. Uh, this team, I mean, in many ways, they say this is where the season is defined. How far do you go in March Madness? How do you? How do you feel about the team? You guys have had a long time to kind of reflect mm -hmm. on the Tennessee loss and what happened there and moving mm -hmm. forward. Uh, how do you think this is going to go? Oh, I think it's, I mean, we're all so excited for it. We've watched our film in Hawaii or on Hawaii. Um, we've learned from the Tennessee game. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have another one of those. But I mean, the whole year we've had these leads and we've always kind of just let the other team get back into it. And coach was like, look, there's going to come a day where y'all are not going to be able to win from it. Like, you're going to get too complacent and the other team's just going to come and get you. And that's exactly what Tennessee did. Mm -hmm. So I think it, ac it actually happening to us kind of was like an eye opening. Like, oh, we're not invincible and um, we can be beaten, obviously. And so, but yeah, I just think we're all so excited. We had a great practice week last week and then now we're doing stuff on Hawaii, so we're also excited. What could the PMAC mean in terms of moving on to the Sweet 16, in terms of your crowd and everything? We saw it last year, right, when you beat Jackson mm -hmm. State and they showed up for the uh, Ohio State game. Oh, yeah. No, the fans are some, like, I mean, they're awesome. You know, K uh, Kateri Poole, she was on Ohio State team last year, so she was, like, the opposing team in the PMAC. And she was like, y'all were so loud. Like, we could barely hear y'all. She was like, we even practiced with crowd noises playing in the background because we knew it was going to be so loud. But she was like, but those noises didn't even do it justice. Like, she was like, we could barely, like, hear anything. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think the crowd makes a big impact. So, I mean, I know it's a weird time, 4.30 on Friday. But just miss work. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, start your early weekend with the LSU Tigers. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you're going to be moving on to grad school? So I'm in grad, school, grad school already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So I started that in the spring or like in January. So and then I'll finish it next May. So it's a year and a half program. So you want to work in sports information or what do you want to do? Yes, sir. So I have an internship with um, the LSU athletic communications department. So that starts in the fall. Um, so I'll still be like around campus and I'll work with a few different sports and like posting on their social media and stuff like that. So I definitely want to do like marketing or communications in sports. So awesome. Yes, sir. That's you got the goal. a great one right here in Grant. He'll yes. show you the way. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> that's how I got my internship. He was kind of like you when you showed up and you got Joe Burrow right off the bat. His first year was Kim Mulkey's first yeah. year. How about that? Mm -hmm. So. Well, look, Start I really appreciate the time. Thanks for yes, doing sir. this with Thank us. Thank you. Emily Ward, everyone, fan favorite. <laughs> everyone loves her, and for good reason. <laughs>